more St. Louis City Soccer Report. Nate Gatter, Jen Sees back with you alongside City winger Celio Pompeo for the first of our KMOX Soccer Showcase presented by Michelob Ultra Dates coming up this summer around the St. Louis area. We're at Hot Shots in Wentzville where a lot of folks uh, fought the traffic to get all the way out here to make sure that they could get uh, a glimpse, a little conversation, a little autograph with uh, City winger Celio Pompeo. Uh, Celio, I asked you during the first segment about the growth of, of this team and this club and this fan base from when you showed up at the beginning of 2022, played that whole season in MLS Next Pro, and then got your chance. But what about your individual development, right? You came from Brazil not knowing really what you were getting into, but a chance to play professional soccer. You spent that whole year in Next Pro. You got rewarded with an MLS contract. I think you played more than probably almost any of us expected last year and contributed so much and were so popular with the fans and then got rewarded yeah. with the big new contract this year that was well deserved. What does it mean to you to know that when you put in those good performances, when you've worked for the team, when you've done the things you've needed to do, that Bradley Carnell, Lutz Van Steel, and the rest of the club has rewarded you? Yeah, like you said, I work hard, you know, but like, and you said it again, like nobody expected, like, they grow, but I knew, like, the, again, I say the confidence, but I'm not, I don't try to, like, sound, like, rude, oh, I'm the best, no, but, like, I already knew, I, had, I put these expectations on myself before I got here. Since I got in the U.S., I knew I was going to be a professional soccer player. In my mind, I knew I was going to be a big player, and I wanted to be, like, a top player one day, and that's my goal, and I want to keep working hard towards this goal, you know? I want to play in Europe soon, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to always, like, Work hard, get better, and work for the team. Because I want to get wins. I want to win. If if we like losing games, it's it's not fun. Like yeah. the mood in the in the training facility every day, it's it's kind of not that good. So just want to keep improving, man. Asking you too about the fact that last year we talked for the first time and told me a little bit about you're that kind of player that's like, hey, uh, you know, we've got a lot of youth players here tonight that may think of themselves as I'm a striker or I'm a defender. And you say, I'm a soccer player. I can yeah. play anywhere. And how has that benefited you in your career? Because that's what I like. I tell people, man, like if you play different positions, more opportunities are going to come to you. If I just play one position, maybe you have a better play in front of you and you're not going to play or get enough, enough minutes. But if you can play multiple positions, be versatile, it's better. So I play my whole life since I'm a kid in Brazil, and I, I can play every position. I don't think I can play keeper. I live to work in that. He's, he's very good at that. Yeah, he's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, but I can play every position, and I feel confident to play in any position that the coach needs me. But, yeah, I, I, of course, if it, my favorite position is left wing because I already know what to do. Like, I already have the plays in my mind. But yeah, it's, it's much better if you can play multiple positions because you're going to get more opportunities, more playing time. So you mentioned Roman Berkey, and obviously he's one of a number of experienced players. As much as youth, youth and exuberance there is on the team, there's also experienced players who have been around in Europe, in MLS. Mm -hmm. How, who has been at one or two players maybe who have really mentored you or who you feel like you've learned the most from? Oh yeah, like I'm always trying to learn from everybody, you know, even for the players that just got there in the club, the young guys. I just would like to see how they do it on the field, off the field, how they talk, how they communicate. And of course, yeah, I, I learn a lot from Berkey. I learn a lot from a lot of guys, uh, Klaus, uh, Edu, when he got here, you know, we, we see little things that they do. And then I want to put like everything together and be, be myself. And of course, I teach them some things too that they, they don't know or, you know, I always try to put, learn a little bit of everything and, and put in my game or in my person, my personality. But I always want to be myself, you know, I don't want to like, oh, I want to be, this play, I want to be like, let's say Neymar. I don't want to be. I want to be Celio, but with a little bit of everybody, because that's flavor how I, from yeah, other people. A remix. <laughs> <laughs> you told me last year too that you know one of the things I, we talked a little bit about leading, right? And, you know, Roman's a captain, Tim Parker's a vice captain, but yeah. everybody can lead. We know Josh yeah. Yarrow has been a leader, and then we talked a little bit about your leadership style, and I think you talked about bringing your energy yeah. to everything that you do. Y yeah, like. Everybody has a different type of leadership, you know, of course, Roman and Tim, they are like the captains, everybody respecting, but in our locker room, everybody respect each other, and I think we have different type of leaders, you know, me and in Indy, I can talk about Indy because Indy, it's like me, we always try to, when the energy is down in the club, in the whole club, we try to like elevate the energy, be nice, have fun, you know, even when the results doesn't come, we don't get the win. We're trying to elevate because the only way to get the three points and get the, get a win is working. 
and it's better to work with a smile on the face, making everybody feel comfortable, because if everybody's comfortable and happy, everybody's going to perform better. So I think that's the only way. We mentioned, uh, you mentioned your ambition to play in Europe at, at some point in, in the near future in your career. Obviously, we talked about some of the players like Klaus and Leuven and Berkey and Nielsen who have that European experience. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, how motivating was it for you to see the opportunity for someone like Nico Joachini, who got the chance to go from City to play now in Serie yeah. A? He did play in Europe before, yeah. so it was nice for him to come back there because he always wanted this move. Before he got here, he always wanted to go back to Europe. So I'm very happy for him. He's a good guy, nice guy and he works a, a lot. So I, I admire those guys who work hard, who also have the quality, but work hard. He's not just a guy who, oh, I have the quality, I don't need to work as hard because I'm a good player, you know? But no, like in our team, everybody works, works a lot. I wanted to ask you, you know, every player brings something to the team and every, I think you also get something from the team. What is it that you, I have an idea, but what do you bring to City and what have you gotten from playing with Bradley Carnell and his style of play? I mean, what I bring for the team, like on the field or off the field? I'm gonna either say one, on the field. either one. No, on the field, I'll start on the field. I'll bring my, my qualities more like a 1v1 player, improvisation, something that like, it's not like coachable, you know? Co coach, uh, when I got here, I, I learned a lot of about the defensive way of the game, about playing without the ball, you know? So when I bring it, it's, it's, my, it's my improvisation. When I go in the wing, nobody gonna teach me how to be two, three players. I'll, I don't even know. I just go there and I, I do. It, it happens, you know. I try to be the guy, and happily I'm I'm winning most of my duels. But yeah, uh, what I learn a lot of here in St. Louis in our style of play, playing this high press style, is definitely playing without the ball, being in the right position, learning how to position myself to be in, in the be in best spot possible to score a goal and also to defend, you know. Celia, we appreciate your time. We have to let you go. I got so you one can quick question, to, oh, though, because he mentioned it. Yeah. Deanna Vasilev, yeah. Celio Pompeu, often soccer tennis partners, oh, yeah. partners in uh, City is competitive everywhere. Yeah. Um, would you like to make a statement on how good your Indiana Vasilev, Celio it's, Pompeu it's team just, is? It's not a statement, it's a fact. You can ask <laughs> every other player in the, in the club. Me and Indy, in the yeah. soccer tennis, we have the most titles. Okay. So it's just a fact, you know? We are the Real Madrid of soccer tennis. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, we'll have to follow up on that, I think, at some future uh, KMOX soccer showcases. I asked Kyle Hubert about that. Presented by <laughs> Kyle Hubert right time. now? Yeah, you can ask him. Celio, thanks so much for your time. Thank we you have guys. to make way so that you can yeah. uh, get to uh, some of your other admirers. But thank right, you so thank much. You. And uh, everybody, so let's fun. make sure to say thank you yeah. to uh, St. Louis City winger Celio Pompey joining us here at uh, Hot Shots thank in you Wentzville. Guys. Jen C. Snake Adder will be back with more. The KMOX Soccer Showcase presented by Michelob Ultra continues after this on KMOX. Right. Don't let a cold.